Hey Pisces, welcome to Black Star Tarot. This is your February love reading, Pisces. So let's jump in and see what your person doesn't want you to know or what your person is not telling you as far as what they've been up to, their feelings, so on and so on, Pisces. So let's jump in and see what your person doesn't want to share with you. All right. Messages for Pisces. Uh, Hold on, Pisces. You know what? I'm switching something up real quick. Let's go. Let's see. What does Pisces person not want them to know? Messages for Pisces. What does that person not want them to know? Oh, this is interesting, Pisces. So your person is trying to confuse you. Okay, so they could be sending you mixed signals. Um Maybe your person is uncertain about, you know, your relationship, where it's going, what they want from you. Uh, nevertheless, I feel like your purpose is your person is intentionally uh, trying to confuse you. OK, maybe they're not being honest about the way that they feel or maybe they're just playing games, uh, Pisces. So let's see what else do we have here. So we have impossible to fix, Pisces. So your person could be pretending like, you know, they don't care anymore, okay? Like this is over, right? Whatever it is that you guys have gone through is done, it's a wrap, you know, nothing can be fixed, you know, let's just move on. That is what your person is trying to pretend, like, look, not the one. So your person, I don't know, like they're, I don't feel, I feel like your person could be gone, you know, maybe the two of you, could just be doing your thing, right? But nevertheless, right, we have the lovers here on the bottom of the deck. So despite the fact that, you know, your person could be pretending that they don't love you, they could be pretending like, you know, it's over, we're not going to be able to fix this, you know, that maybe you're not the one, you know, this is what, you know, your person is saying or portraying, like this is how they're acting, but I'm not quite sure if this is exactly what, you know, they mean, okay, if this is really, you know, how they feel, but they're trying to confuse you, and they have you guys possibly feeling that, you know, this is not going to work, you're never going to be together again, that the two of you aren't meant for each other, things of that nature, however, right, page of pentacles, you know, um, begs to differ, pages are all about messages, okay, so this page of pentacles is wanting to message you, uh, Pisces, uh, you're, person like with the page of pentacles it's kind of like a flirty kind of energy so you know your person could be flirting with you you know maybe telling you that you guys need to be friends you know like that's it we can't do nothing you know from here on now but i don't think your person means that i feel like this page is here you know to express more than you know um things ain't gonna work okay your person is trying to confuse you why i don't really know okay why they are pretending like you know this can't be fixed or that you're not the one for them i don't know why they're in denial but the page is here like look they really want to message you okay they really want to hear from you you know look ace of swords they want to talk to you they want to clarify some things and they want a new start right because the page of I mean, the Ace of Swords is all about a new beginning, okay? So I don't care what they're saying to you or what mixed signals or the confusion that they're sending your way, Pisces. Clearly, um, they do want to fix this, okay? So they can have you feeling like, you know, they're not the one. But in fact, they know damn well that that is not the case, that you are, okay? Um, King of Swords this could be you or your person. You could be dealing with, you know, an air sign, uh, Libra, um, Gemini, Aquarius, okay, King of Swords. This could be your person. This could be somebody who uh, could be a little cold, okay. Um, maybe brutally honest, you know, to some extent, you know, for the most part, you know, the King of Swords is usually an honest person. So why they playing games or trying to confuse you is beyond me right now. But um, this person could be a little closed off or like I said, giving you the cold shoulder right now, maybe holding back information, conversation, you know, things like that, you know, on purpose, okay, on purpose. So I feel like this person wants to, you know, reach out. They want to communicate with you. They want to fix things, okay? But, you know, they're being all serious right now, okay? Um, just kind of saying to themselves, you know, real independent 
you know, type of person. You probably don't hear from them much or at all, uh, Pisces, but I feel like this is part of uh, the game, okay? Almost like feeling or trying to get you to feel like they don't love you, they don't need you, that, you know, it's over, it's not going to work, but no, that's not the case, right? Eight of Pentacles is the complete opposite. This is fucking working, okay? So your person definitely wants to work um, towards a commitment with you, despite what uh, signals or mixed signals they could be sending to you right now, right? Look, nine of wands, like, yeah, like, you know, they tired. <laughs> I don't know why they playing games, why they holding back, you know, things of that nature. So they could be withholding communication uh, from you, Pisces, but they, they want to do the opposite, and that's just sad. All right, what else for Pisces, what else do we have? Look, Ten of Pentacles. Like, yeah, they know you the one, right? This is this is having it all. All right, Ten of Pentacles is a beautiful card. You know, this is like having all that you need. This is a guaranteed easy time with money. This could be marrying into money. You know, whatever. Right? They see a future with you that is stable and grounded. So why the games? I'm not really sure. You guys gonna have to enlighten me on this because you know them better than I do. So we have the world, enough said, right? <laughs> like there's something here that they want to complete with you. Like it's not over yet. That's what I'm feeling. So there is movement here between you and your person or your person definitely has that on their mind, right? They have an intention of wanting to, you know, to, to come towards you, Pisces, or, you know, to, to, to finish something. <clears throat> so your person could have, you know, abruptly, you know, went their way. Or you abruptly uh, went your way, uh, Pisces. But uh, yeah, then something's coming back around again because the world is here. There was something here that's going to be, you know, rekindled, I feel, in due time. So let's see. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? What is your person not telling you? Page of Swords. Like, that's what, that, again, Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords. They want to communicate with you even if you feel or they're leading or saying, like, you know, don't call me, don't talk to me. You know, that kind of thing. Like, if they're saying that to you, Pisces, you know, don't believe it, okay? Because all they're, they're saying that you're not the one or they're portraying that you're not the one, that is not the case. Look, Nine of Cups, they want what they want, and that's just that. Nine of Cups tells me that, look, they're ready, okay? You're their happiness, you know, they feel content, you know, when they're around you. They feel like they have all that they need uh, when you're around and that your happiness, you know, lies um, their happiness lies with you. So why they're playing in this Eight of Cups energy, I don't really know. So somebody here may be playing hard to get, okay, with the Eight of Cups. Okay, they could be, they could be, you know, walking away or, you know, maybe they said like, look, I'm letting this go. You know, I'm going to go do me. And they may be doing just that. But I tell you with this Eight of Cups here and this King of Swords, you know, they need to be honest, okay, with you know, the way that they really feel. So judging is here trying to resurrect this, right? Give it a second chance because ultimately this is what your person wants, right? They want some type of renewal, second chance with you, okay? Because they know that, you know, their heart is calling out to you because you're the one. Seven of Pentacles, they want to invest in you. You know, they may be in a little bit of indecision right now. They could have other opportunities, you know, and things coming their way. But I feel like this, you're where the growth is. And I feel like they know it, okay? So they could be pretending like they don't want to invest anything else in a relationship, that you're not the one. And then maybe turn it around and, you know, I don't know, maybe the mixed signals is, is you feeling, uh, Pisces, that, you know, this, this, is, this isn't, you know, over yet. The two of you could feel that, oh, the tower. So something's coming in, all right? Something urgent. When a tower shows up, there's something here that desperately, you know, needs to change. This is the universe coming in. Scorpio Aries card here, okay, about to surprise somebody with something. So you may get a phone call from this person, uh, Pisces. There may, there's some type of major change that is coming in, all right? So your person may not be telling you this, but there's something that's going to come in and fix this. And here's temperance. Temperance is going to do the thing, all right? Because I feel that there is a connection between the two of you, like, if you work together as a team, that you'll be able to lay, you know, some foundations that will change, you know, your world, okay? So I don't know what your person is confused about, but clearly they don't understand the magnitude, you know, that can be um, shared between you and them. And then again, they know, right? Five of Swords, they know. They just deceiving 
themselves, okay, they miss you. Um, they feel that the relationship ending between the two of you was a loss. They could be conflicted about, you know, what they want at this time. That could be part of the mixed signals. You know, like, again, they could be saying to themselves, like, you know, no, you know, Pisces, you know, that's not the one. I'm just moving on. But that's not how they really feel, okay? They're not being 100% genuine uh, right now with you, Pisces. So what they're not telling you is the opposite, you know, um, they do want this, okay? You are enough, exactly. Like this is, you are what they want. You are who they think about. Uh, there's a strong connection between uh, you and your person, Pisces, okay? Look at that unbreakable love, exactly. So that's how your person feels, whether they're saying it or not. You know, this is what's going on, you know, in their mind, divine timing. So Pisces, in time, I feel like things are going to balance out uh, uh, between, um you and them if this is what you want like if you're open uh to love this person again uh pisces despite the difficulties i think that you've experienced with them i think you may know as well that you know they are the one just like you feel you know that just like they feel that you're the one okay so somebody's gonna have to take a leap of faith here because there is you know magic i feel in this connection and your person is very aware of that and they are grateful that you know, they found someone who could love them, you know, honestly. So whatever difficulties that um, you guys have had, um, there may have been a question in the dynamic as far as, you know, are you enough? Like your person could be asking themselves that, like, am I enough, you know, for Pisces? Maybe one minute they feel like it's going to work. Maybe the next minute they're not so sure. You know, maybe they feel like it's, it's just, we can't fix this. You know, we're on two different paths. I'm not quite sure what the thought process is, but you know, actions speak louder than words. So if there's going to be a reconciliation here, I feel that somebody needs to walk away, you know, from their fears, okay? Feel uh, fears. Be present uh, in the moment, uh, Pisces. So let's see uh, what else your person could be not um, saying to you, what it is that they may not want you uh, to know. Did we get a flipper? Yes. So they don't want you to know that they want a second chance, right? Another opportunity, right? They want to make amends with you. This is what they don't want you to know, right? Meanwhile, they spying on your social media, right? They looking for all kinds of, you know, <laughs> information as far as what you're doing, what you're going through, what you could be experiencing. They probably cross watching readings and things like that. Okay. But definitely, you know, looking for ways, you know, in which maybe they can sneak in or maybe shoot you, you know, a word or something of that nature. Okay. So we got two cards, you know, this came out and these two cards came out in Aquarius is reading like clearly and uh, nourish, but I'm going to put them back in because it just may not have been shuffled um, enough, but yeah, somebody could, and look, this came out to beauty. <laughs> all the cards from Aquarius is reading, you know, wants to kind of come out. So I'm just going to leave it because it flipped out. All right. So your person knows that you're sweet. They know that you're kind. They know that, you know, you have a big heart and they think you're beautiful too. All right. Your person could be coming to the realization that, you know, you are, you know, what they want, that you are, you know, what they need, even though they, they got this, they sending you these mixed signals, right? This conflicted energy, one minute they hot, one minute they cold. I don't know, your person could have like multiple people around them, uh, multiple people to choose from. Uh, you may not be the only one, okay? But even if they have others around, Pisces, I feel like you're the one that they really want to be with because there's chemistry between the two of you. There's a strong spark or connection, right? That's what I'm feeling. So this is what we got. Commitment is what they want. Commitment is on the mind, despite, you know, how confusing things may be. They're actually, you know, lusting to have you back, you know, in their life, right? They're not enjoying, you know, not being uh, in your energy, not being uh, in your arms, Pisces, okay? So let's get you a angel message and then we're going to head out of here. So this is what your person is not telling you. They're not telling you that they want to return. <laughs> That's what they're not telling you, okay? They're not telling you that you know, they miss you, okay? They just kind of just spending some time in their own little head, you know, but at the same time, they're missing you, okay? So we have the Hermit card. Um, this is a card of Virgo. So right now, I feel like your person is like heavily thinking about you, okay? You know, while they're spending this time alone or apart, while you guys have, you know, taken your energy back, you know, from each other, this person is still thinking about you, okay? 
this person still has you on their mind. This person is still trying to figure out, you know, like, where do, where do I go from here? How do I go from here? Okay, this person is looking for, you know, some type of guidance from the universe to help them figure out, you know, which way um, they should go. Okay, so that is the reason for, you know, the mixed signals. Okay, this person's just not sure, you know, what to do. Not sure if you're the one, if you are the one, you know, there could be some confusion there. I think their heart is telling them yes. Their mind may be telling them, no, you know, this is impossible to fix when in fact, they just playing games, you know, with themselves. So Pisces, this is what I have for you for the month of February in love. Okay. I will see you guys in the next video.